people what's going on so there it is we got some works this is a this is a this is that works team line b5 pro 2.21 works team line b5 pro 2.21 so this is a badass engine for $289, people. Still within a budget range compared to a lot of these overpriced linear power race engines. For a basher, this particular B5 is a beast. So it's extreme torque monster, low end. Uh, they say it's a stump puller. So that means that it's perfect for modding over at RCR. RCR, people. So we're going to look at a little bit of this, but we're going to go over this, okay? So there's also the B6 Team Pro, too. But the B6 is more of a smooth power. More smooth bottom end for the transition, good mid into high. This is a torque monster. This is good for truggy or buggy right here, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to break this apart. We're going to check it out. We're going to check out the internals. And it's definitely an affordable budget engine. It's an Italian engine made in Italy, just like your Novorossis and your Tritons and, and all the other Italian engines, the Picos and whatnot badass well crafted uh, we're going to take a look at this carburetor too the carburetor is very similar to the reds r5r uh carb on there with that uh inverted uh high speed needle so give me a few minutes guys we're going to break this open we're going to take a look at it okay um we're going to go over a few things here i do have all the parts except for one part which they were out of stock um, I had an issue ordering from DDM. I normally do PayPal, try to use my credit card. Uh, they said because of the value of the parts, a lot of money, people. A lot of money coming this way on parts. Crazy, man. But we got it figured out, and by the time I got it done, the diff cups that I wanted, the FLM diff cups, were out of stock. So I guess they only had one. I run across that a lot, man. I'll buy something, then go back and look, and they're gone, out of stock. A lot of them just have one item. So, um, by the way, I did buy this on A-Main, guys. I don't know if they're still in stock or not, but check it out. Uh, we're not even going to break this engine in. We're sending it directly to be modified. This is a prime candidate for a modified engine. For bashers, guys, a bash mod, drag mod. That's what we get. We get drag mods for bashing, not a race mod for fuel consumption. So we got everything broke down, got the engine out. Uh, we're going to be cleaning everything up. All my parts, I've got about 25 parts that I ordered to rebuild this girl. We got everything stripped down. Remember, we're not doing the front yet. We're doing the rear clip from the engine back and from the gas tank back. Um, we're going to be replacing the clutch, all the bearings everything that need be so turns out i will not be using any of these parts right here and uh we're going to discuss all that once we get through checking this thing out checking the internals out we'll come back to this and i'll tell you exactly what i got exactly what i got going on what i got over here and uh i'm excited guys you know me i order this stuff overnight shipping so we'll have all this by the weekend we can get started on it we're not going to rush it we're going to do a good job on this um there are some other parts that i'm going to be ordering for the rear clip as of right now we're, we're continuing to use all the plastics including the front and the rear rear bulkheads which are these pieces right here this one and the other one uh but we do have uh an aluminum tranny plate the top plate aluminum bumper brace rc max turtle racing all kinds of goodies guys and we're going to go over everything when it gets here but after we open this up we'll go ahead and, and discuss what i got going on what i found what we're doing with the carburetor and the velocity stack um everything that's 
that's going down on this build and then hopefully Sunday maybe we'll be able to go run the 5b we'll see um, I apologize I will not be breaking this engine in I personally don't believe in running an engine first and then having it modded uh, I'll do like I did the Reds R5R is I'll buy two of them I'll get one modded and I'll leave one stock and if I want to run stock and check it out I can run the one that I bought that's brand new that's stock but I'll tell you people that's probably not going to happen either there is de a definite difference from modified to stock engines the spool up the mid to top is badass on these things there's no underestimating it no doubting it it's modifying for bashers that are running nitro if you can afford to do it do it man no 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 qualms about it man uh, I highly recommend running modified engines there's nothing wrong with stock engines you can still have fun with them I have plenty of stock engines that I still run um, a lot of engines that I haven't uh, sent to be modded yet and I just don't believe in 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 running an engine and then sending it to be modded it's just I don't know I don't know why but it's just something that I don't do um, and and you know I'll continue to do it that way if I'm gonna buy it I'm gonna buy it brand new I'm gonna send it to be modded personally I know the difference between a stock and a modded engine it's night and day people so give me a few minutes I'll get this thing broken down with you guys and then we'll go over it uh, it's got some really great features for an under $300 engine. It's got ceramic bearings, uh, all kinds of goodies going on with this thing. So uh, let me stop yip yapping. Um, I've got one more sales call to do in between, and then we'll be back in a second. We'll go ahead and break this thing down, man. All right, guys. Peace. We'll see you in a minute, man. it out real quick all right let's start with the crank no tungsten weights or anything like that but it looks good silicone filled 14 millimeter crank back of it is coated the barrel area or the rocker or whatever you want to call it right there coated yeah she'll be good a good candidate to get uh, the timing modified right here Open that dog up. There's a lot of meat on there. Alright, piston. So this is an alloy aluminum piston. Uh, razor knife edged. Rod. She is a five port. Exhaust port right there. This is a chrome plated sleeve. I don't know what those marks are for right there. Maybe to show you it's exhaust port or maybe it's just where the uh, 
machining machine held it. Things there. No burrs. Looks good. Back plate. Beautiful billet back plate. Very similar to the reds, man. Or the Pico. The reds is a lot better than this. It looks a lot better aesthetically. This is very similar to the Pico back plate. A plain billet back plate with your uh, cut out there for the skirt. The skate does have a uh, gasket on the head button. Turbo. Beautiful. Carburetor. It's a composite carburetor. Basically the same damn carburetor that's on the reds, really, to be honest with you. Is that a seven millimeter Venturi? I can't see. Yeah, seven millimeter. Short needle. LCG head milled out nicely these are all the looks man you you want it to look good but more importantly you want this thing to perform good this is a bottom end engine a stump puller as they call it now these are Swiss made ceramic rear bearing I'm assuming it's just a regular steel front bearing but this is a Swiss made ceramic rear bearing stock silicone filled crank stock gasketed head button stock this is a badass engine for under $300 people alright guys let me get this thing back together and uh, we'll we'll discuss some of the things here for the um, the 5B the Baja see what's going on or I may wait until the next video these items will be here over the next couple of days uh, this weekend for sure we will be doing a video I'll lay out all the parts show you where I'm at uh, what I got RC Max what we got turtle racing I think there's more turtle racing than there is RC Max but I did get some badass uh, RC Max upgraded parts titanium parts billet parts performance parts so give me a few minutes guys and we will uh we may talk about this i don't know all right let's get this thing back together peace
All right, guys. There you go. That's the Works B5 Pro. Works Team Line B5 Pro 2.21, aka the Stump Puller. There you go, guys. Less than 300 bucks, $289. You probably even find it cheaper. Italian, badass nitro engine. It does come with a uh, uh, Works number five hot glow plug. I've actually got a couple in here as well, um, extra ones. So this is gonna go straight to uh, Lance at RCR to be modified. Um, one thing I forgot to tell y'all, a couple of things is uh, Make sure you're using the right tools when, when you're dealing with these engines. You know, I don't care if you take your engines apart. However long you've been in the hobby, you you assume the liability when you do that. So, just remember that. Um, plastic tools, guys, to get this. This is a good one to get the sleeve popped up. If it won't come up, you can either use a zip tie but I don't even like using the zip ties. I use this to kind of coerce the uh, the rod over a little bit when I'm getting it off of the uh, crank pin. But this is what I use to actually put in the exhaust port to uh, actually pop the sleeve up a little bit. And once I do that, I bring the piston back down, get this out, and then I use these plastic tools to pull my sleeve up. Don't ever use screwdrivers or, or metal drivers to do to do that to pull that sleeve up use non-abrasive items I don't even like using these zip ties because they can break off in there and you may miss a piece this 3 16th nylon rope it's abrasive enough to do the job but it's not going to hurt anything so and it won't it won't uh, clip off and you won't lose a piece in there so remember that Get you some 3 16 nylon rope. Um, one great thing, and I forgot about the Works B5, or, you know, the Works. I've got a couple of other Works engines over here. Uh, I think I've got one here. B2, what is that? Yeah, I've got the Works B2 here, an older one. This is a badass nitro engine too, man. This still runs. It still runs. It still idles. It's a great engine. And this engine's probably got about 10 gallons on it. So she still runs badass. I've got videos with that one. Uh, and then I've got another B5 somewhere. Somewhere around here. Uh, down here. I got another one down there. So anyway, guys. Oh, y'all hold on. Works. Good shit, man. So and then also I make sure and put a little bit of oil. Um, I use AMS oil, synthetic air tool oil, and uh, a little bit of AMS oil MP. I generally do about three quarters of this little bottle with this AMS oil. You can use this for after run. And then I use uh, about a quarter of that little bottle of the uh, air tool oil, AMS oil. That's all I use, AMS oil products for, for my after run, engine maintenance any of that stuff i got a lot of amsoil products over here that i use just in my normal everyday household stuff so it's good shit and, and, and of course we use the dominator 28 to 1 is what i run from break in all the way through that's all i've run this this roven 36 cc and it still runs badass so anyway guys all right so let me just go over this and we're going to go over this more when my parts get in but we've already broke everything down i will be using these flm uh uh dog bones here or the uh, drive shafts but i did order uh the rebuild kit for the pins okay so we're going to rebuild those um i need to get some diff cups the only thing that I didn't had i explained that in the beginning so we're gonna have to deal with that um, I'm not going to use any of these parts here. I actually, since you can't get the upgraded heavy duty uh, bevel gears right now, they're out of stock. I just ordered another brand new Roven uh, diff, a complete diff. And what we're going to do is we're going to tear that whole thing apart. And we're going to replace the bearings with these uh, 
Avid bearings. We're going to replace all the bearings in it. We're going to use the seals. You know, these are all old seals. So the new one will have all brand new seals in it. And I just don't trust this because, you know, these were worn. They're used. You don't know if there might be some shavings down in there or what. And uh, even if I clean it out, I don't want to take the chance. So we'll get the new one. We'll break it apart. We'll clean it. Pull everything apart. We'll clean it. And then we'll put it back together. Brand new bearings. And we're actually going to put... Uh, 500k I ordered some Kraken uh, diff fluid 500 500,000 for this thing I think originally I was only running a hundred thousand and when uh, elite and crucial said man try probably running either 500,000 or a million we're gonna do 500,000 in there um, we're gonna replace this carburetor with the uh, um, the bearing mod the DDM bearing mod but this does have the spiral diaphragm in it so we're gonna get rid of this choke carburetor put this uh, DDM bearing sorry about that so we're gonna put the DDM bearing mod with the spiral diaphragm in here get all this cleaned up we're gonna replace the clutch with a brand new clutch right here so we're gonna do that and then you know obviously when we pull the carburetors off we're gonna need to put I knew I got these uh, uh Zenoa insulator gasket um uh gaskets for a reason so you know this has the insulator the billet insulator on it so we're going to replace the gaskets on there and then obviously the velocity stack gasket as well we're also going to replace the coupler here on the victory rc pipe and um what else so brand new diff, diff fluid, uh, we do have black bone gears coming for the turtle racing uh, split uh, billet diff that I'm getting. Um, I am going to be using the Kraken lathe shaft. I looked at the titanium RC Max, it's lighter, but I'm not worried about it, all that being light. This isn't a drag Baja, um, I just want beefier, I want more durable uh lathe shaft but we are going to be running the um the rc max uh hex the brake hex on here this piece so none of these parts we're going to use i've got i bought the uh black bone uh diff gear set the whole thing um we're going to be running the turtle racing uh rear top tranny plate the top piece we're gonna run the RC Max rear bumper brace, this piece right here. So this piece is gonna be silver billet, RC Max. This piece is gonna be the turtle racing with the one piece uh, brake mount here. Get rid of all this crap, be done with that. So all that billet. Um, we're not gonna be using this clutch anymore. This clutch setup will hold this as a spare. We're going to be running the Turtle Racing V2 heavy duty uh, clutch system with the uh, clutch plate and the oversized bearings, uh, clutch bell, a uh, brand new clutch bell in there as well. Um, we're going, when we rebuild the diffs, we're using the RC Max uh, diff pins in there. And um, what else? We got some more stuff coming for it too, guys. So. Once everything gets here, we'll, we'll lay it all out. Um, all, all, obviously, we're replacing this with the modified RC rear chassis plate. Stoked about that. I looked at it. You don't have to deal with these little inserts right here. I believe it actually has them already built into it, which is great because you, you lose these. And you can see where this one was getting wallowed out. Um, so we're, we're, we're trying to do everything the right way here. I don't know if I'm going to put these side skirts back on or not. This was an all brand new uh, linkage that I had on there. So we'll, we'll, we'll use that. And then once we get all the rear clip done, then we're going to go ahead and start with the front. So um, I'm looking forward to that. I know it's not all billet and, you know, the whole thing. But I, I'm going to run this and I'm going to beat it up a little bit. I just basically wanted the... Uh, rear diff and transmission to be bulletproof and that that's what we're doing so but we will be replacing these uh, uh, front and rear bulkheads here 
with billet as well and then you know you know how i do it eventually it's going to end up like this and uh probably the whole thing's going to be billet from front to back um looked at a couple of other chassis they had the uber rc uber rc chassis the rc max chassis there's a lot of them out there pr pretty high dollar but we're going to stick with this stock stuff and we're just going to start building from there forward um I was looking at the irc shocks and they're out of stock over there so we'll probably run these for now until i can uh save up some more money to do a little bit this this little venture here is, is costing some dough people it's costing a little green to get all this rebuilt the proper way so doing away with all that uh, we'll probably still use this uh this is the rpm rear uh brace here on the bottom the skid plate we'll, we'll probably still use that um and uh we're still going to use the uh spur gear here uh, obviously the pinion that we're going to be running i need to clean all this and replace these inserts um, the pinion's got to be brand new for the uh, v2 total racing clutch system it's it's a whole different mount on there same thing with the lathe shaft it's clipless uh, it's a bolt and it's going to be much easier to deal with so um, once all that gets in, we'll go over everything, guys, and uh, I appreciate y'all hanging with me this evening. I know it's not a running video. It has not been run, uh, raining or anything like that, so hopefully this weekend it's going to be dry. Um, and I promise I won't be uh, spending all my time in here off camera just wrenching. Uh, I'll pop in show you all a few things here and there what we're doing and eventually we will upgrade this engine We will put a modified OBR Reed case in here. We're not going to do an RC max a 40 anything like that I'm going to stick probably with an OBR 34 Reed in here. I think that's going to be plenty I don't like it when my front wheels are going to always be off the ground I want to be able to control it some and definitely we need to work on the steering up here replace some of this stuff so all right guys that's it i appreciate each and every one of y'all and uh we'll catch y'all in the next video man obr strong people don't forget it peace mm -hmm.